good morning children in previous class we completed that is part 1 from lesson 3 tanks and ground water and in previous class we discussed about who were tanks built and how were tanks built and why were they built tanks and how did the tanks helps us and declining of tanks in our times who were tanks built the tanks were built by our ancestors and kings like nayakas uh, like kakatiya and the vijayanagara kings and military leaders and the nayakas they built tanks why to irrigate the lands and how were tanks built how were tanks built in the time of raining the rain water flows like a small streams or canals and later dissolve join in a large well which is known as tank and are later the kings built one strong wall the four sides of the tank which can store rain water and why were they built tanks in olden days why they built tanks for the controlling the speed of rain water and to stop the running rain water and uh, for a drinking purpose also that means here the tanks are providing drinking water to the animals and human beings and next etc next how did the tanks helps us the tanks helps us to increase the water levels near the wells and uh, it can stop the soil erosion also and uh, tanks helps us and the tanks are providing water to the fields and next declining of tanks in our times nowadays we are seeing dry and uh, uncared tanks because some of the farmers they are using deeper tuber wells or bore wells and that too nowadays there are no kings so nowadays we are seeing dry and uh, uncared tanks next ground water this is part 2 where we can find ground water for example this is land if you go to the interior part of the land first we can find sand and after rocks and after water layer below 5 meters and for example in the time of raining the rain water flows not only into the rivers ponds and lakes some water flows into the rivers ponds and lakes and some water percolates into the soil and some water will evaporates and goes into the sky here in the time of raining some water slowly percolate into the soil that means one one drop slowly percolate into the soil and uh, goes into the gap between rocks and pebbles so here some water will store here so this water we call it ground water which is known as ground water so how we can reach this layer how we can reach this layer by using bore wells and deeper tuber wells we can reach this layer next uh, rocks under the ground we have two types of rocks first one pervious rocks and second one impervious rocks first uh, we will see about the pervious rocks pervious rocks have cracks and holes are uh, also called pores which can contain water for example sandstone in prakasam district so in prakasam district the sandstone have cracks and holes and it can contain water so through the cracks and holes the water goes into the deep inland so the pervious rocks can contain water and through the cracks and holes the water goes down below 50 to 100 meters depth and how we can reach this layer or how we can reach this uh, 
five years rods. We can reach this layer through the tube wells or bore wells. And next second one, impervious rocks, which do not have cracks and holes. We call as impervious rocks. And it cannot contain water. And for example, granite and limestone in Kadapa district. Where is Kadapa located? In Rayal Sima. So in Rayal Sima, the Kadapa district have granite and uh, limestone which do not have cracks and holes. So it cannot contain water. And so the ground water accumulates above the impervious rocks. So we can get water here nearly 20 meters depth only. We can get water. And next we are getting well water from this layer. So how we are getting water from the wells through this impervious rocks. We are getting well water. Next Krishna and Godavari rivers. Krishna and Godavari rivers both are born in Western Ghats in Maharashtra. Where are Western Ghats located to our India? The west side of India we have Western Ghats in that the Krishna and Godavari rivers was born. The Krishna river originates in Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra and the Godavari river originates in Premakeshwar in Maharashtra. But both are born in Western Ghats only in Maharashtra. And the areas of Krishna and Godavari have plenty of water because the areas which are very near to the rivers, for example, Krishna and Godavari. So they are getting plenty of water. So in that place, we can get water below 5 to 7 meters depth only because the areas which are near to the rivers, that's why. Next, recharging groundwater. Recharging means increase. Increasing groundwater. How we can increase the levels of groundwater we will see now. We can recharge or increase groundwater by building dams, tanks and vegetation. Vegetation means planting grass or plants. For example, this is one soft ground. On the soft ground, the rainwater flows very fastly. Say yes or no? So at that time, if we plant some grass on the soft ground, it can reduce the speed of the groundwater. So at that time, one one drop slowly percolates into the soil and join this groundwater then automatically the groundwater levels will increase. Like that we can increase the groundwater levels by, by building vegetation. And next, we can increase groundwater levels by building dams also. For example, here there is one dam. Here we can store rainwater. At the time also, one one drop slowly percolate into the soil and enjoy this groundwater levels. So at that time also the groundwater levels will increase. So if we store water in any place, at that time the groundwater will increase because one one drop slowly percolate into the soil and it can join the groundwater. And next same like that, by building tanks also we can recharge groundwater. Same like this. For example, here there is one tank. Here we can store some rainwater. So at the time also one one drop slowly percolate into the soil and join this groundwater levels. At the time also the groundwater will increase. So by building dams, tanks and vegetation we are increasing or recharging groundwater. So this type of projects uh, we call as watershed development projects, what we call watershed development projects.